Well, you can talk all you want. We'll just take it out. That's true. All right, so here's the BCS. Uh, for anyone who has BCS, this is old hat to them. This is, you know, the web UI to their BCS controller, the little black box that controls your brewery. It's got four temperature probes, uh, controls six different circuits, um, so you can turn pumps on and off. I have it always controlling my my uh, fermentation, so my, my beer is fermenting at 68 degrees constantly, whether it's cold or hot outside, with a heater and the refrigerator, dual stage controlling. Um, I have a program that I can run when I'm brewing. You know, you turn the thing on, it does a bunch of stuff. It turns on pumps, it turns on heating elements with the target temperature for the mash ton. Um, like I said, if you have a BCS, this is somewhat old hat, but if you have a BCS, this is new. So now you have the ability to control your BCS with an iPhone. The, all the same information is represented here, but now you don't have to have your laptop handy. You can control your system with your iPhone directly, bypassing the laptop. Turn processes on and off, jump to states and processes, pause processes, resume processes, go back to the beginning, turn processes off. It has three different BCSs configured, so for my BCS I'm always at home. I use the 192 private address. If I'm outside in the world I have a hole poked in my firewall, which I use a different address to get to. And I've configured a third BCS here for like if you have a friend's BCS that you're helping them troubleshoot or you just want to look at it or you're just kind of playing around you want to mess with something. Um, you can configure each of the temperature indicators on the main screen with maximum and minimum values so that when you're looking at things, if you're doing like say fermentation, which has a much tighter temperature range, the graph is more meaningful. Whereas if you're doing like say mashing, you have a wider swing and you want a, a less granular graph. You can turn all the individual, individual outs on and off here, as well as the um, turning processes on in the other control screen. Okay, the exciting brewery, if you will, complete with brewer's bling. I've got way too much stainless steel here. Um, I've got a counterflow chiller used for a heat exchanger, and the BCS is that little black box back there with some wires hooked into it. And then each one of those boxes has a solid state relay inside of it that is hooked up to the BCS with a, a Cat5 cable. Um, in the previous video, I showed you the the uh, the BCS being controlled on the simulator. Here I have it on an actual iPhone. So it loads up. It's a little harder to see the iPhone on the uh, screen there. But you have the, obviously, you've seen on the simulator, it's the same thing here. You have full control. Turn stuff on and off. No more laptop getting splashed while brewing because I've done that enough times at this point. So I'll send out more videos and I'll probably have on the iPhone store as soon as possible.